drinking those beer. <laughs> All right, we're cooking turtle today. What I've done is I mix, uh, put some turtle here in the pot. We uh, mixed it up and put uh, some milk in it. You got to let this soak for 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> also with the milk, I use some meat tenderizer. This is a uh, McCormick's meat tenderizer. It's unseasoned. It don't have no flavor, but it will tender the meat. And you definitely need it with turtle, deer, wild game. It uh, really helps a lot. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna mix up some flour and season it to make a breading for a turtle. This pretty simple recipe. Um, just I don't measure anything. I just put in what I like to flavor. Um, basically, about like frying chicken. If you got a good fried chicken recipe, pretty much one you can use it. Um, I'm basically just using some salt and pepper, <laughs> a little onion, a little onion powder. Okay, it's been sitting in the cabinet for a while. Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. All right, we're using some onion powder <laughs> and a little bit of garlic. And like I said, these seasonings here, you just uh, mix to what you like or what what tastes good to you. All right, I need to get a fork here. <laughs> Just mix all your seasonings and flour together. Like I said, this is actually a pretty simple recipe. You can use any seasonings that you like. Welcome to add it to this one out of the way. Okay, we've had our turtle soaking in the meat tenderizer and a little bit of milk. Use a roll around, get it good and wet, get the excess milk off of it, and dredge it in the flour. You're gonna get it all over your fingers. That's just part of it. I just do it, don't worry about it. <laughs> The reason I've been so quiet because I'm trying to concentrate here on getting on the flyer on the <laughs> turbo. <laughs> and you can use beer for seasoning, but I usually use that for myself. <laughs> but the beer is optional. This is my son Hunter. He's the turtle hunter of the family. Yeah, it is. No, it's like the other. Say hi, Hunter. Hi. He's gonna be a superstar now, so. It's amazing. Stop and smile the camera on the way out. <laughs> that will be. He's getting a haircut tomorrow. <laughs> then that is my son, not my daughter. <laughs> okay, this is. Okay, just keep y'all from getting bored. Here, dog. That's my dog, Stewie. Say hi to everybody, Stewie. He helps me turtle hunt. Yeah, now I'm petting my dog and cooking. <laughs> I'm not using this hand. <laughs> Swear sanitary. But if not, y'all are going to have to eat it anyway, so don't tell nobody. There I stew. Emma, we're going to have to Look cute for everybody. Yeah, that's pretty cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, we're at the point now where uh, they've let this sit for like, uh, I don't know, three to five minutes <laughs> where we put the flour and the, the uh, milk and everything where we dredged it. We'll let this set up and it'll almost make like a little batter on if we give it a few minutes. While this is setting up, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn the stove on. <laughs> just fry this like you do your chicken at home if you cook chicken. If not, we just uh, add a little bit of cooking oil here. Maybe a quarter inch in the bottom. Just enough to ride up on the uh, turtle meat a little bit. <laughs> if you want, you can come over and get a shot of this. Yeah, well, they can see approximately how much the grease put in it. <laughs> what you want to do is let your grease heat up just, uh, I don't know. I usually take a little bit of water on the end of my finger and whenever it starts to fry, uh, that's usually hot enough. So we'll give this a few minutes to warm up. <laughs> I just put a little water on my finger, check to make sure the oil's hot enough. It seems to be good. <laughs> What we'll do here is just take them, uh, as you can see, the turtle was starting to dough up a little bit in the flyer. So we're just going to get set that in there and let it start frying. We'll leave a little bit of room between the turtle here. You don't want to trap the pan or you don't leave too much meat. <laughs> so after you get it in there, I'll like to turn it down just a little bit. About medium or so, but you want to keep it frying. <laughs> Let this fry for about five minutes or until it turns golden brown on the bottom. Then, of course, you're going to want to turn it over. Uh, you know, I'm going to grease catch it here to kind of keep it from making a big mess. So, we'll do that to keep our eye out here for the next few minutes and then we'll turn them where they get ready. Okay, we're going to check the chicken now. The turtle, hell, and call the chicken. You know, I ain't going to believe it. I should show you the turtle already. You have to watch the other video. It's the fruit. Anyways, we're going to flip it. As you can see, this side is pretty golden brown. That took probably, I don't know, three or four minutes, maybe five minutes, give or take. Just depending on how high your grease actually is, you just, everybody stows a little different, you have to walk. <laughs> all right, we got it all flat, and we're going to cook a few more minutes on each side. Okay, we've had turtle frying here like several minutes on uh, the other side. Let me turn it over here and check it. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, turn it over again. Like I said, a lot of times the way this turtle's shaped, it's very odd. You can see you got fried on all sides. This side here hasn't been fried yet. And we'll get to show it to you. And like I said, pretty much we'll just fry it like the chicken. You just gotta flip it one more time than what you do your chicken. Make sure you get it all, all sides of it fried. They're a little harder to roll than the chicken is. Other than that, it's about the same. It has a golden brown on all sides. Yeah, it looks good. Okay guys, that's the first batch of the turtle there. It's done and ready to go. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Tune in next time.